Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Fire Emblem Sacred Stones playthrough. Not to be confused with Fire Emblem Fates, which just recently came out in North America. I'm not going to be talking a whole lot about it though, because I don't want to give away any spoilers, and I'm still playing through my initial playthrough of the game, so... Let's not worry about that. Let's get moving on more of a frames route. We're actually going to go across the sea, which is actually something Erica should have done during her route, but it never actually happened. I think we'll actually have like kind of a better explanation for that later. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on to Tizel. General DeWezel tells them of the enigmatic Dark Stone the product of Grotto's research into the Dark Arts. The Dark Stone possesses power far beyond that of the Sacred Stones. According to the rumors swirling about, Vigard's descent into madness coincides with the creation of the Dark Stone. A frame must confirm the existence of the Dark Stone. He decides to travel to Grotto by sea. Midway through their passage, however, an eerie fog begins to form. Chapter 11, The Phantom Ship But first, let's go back to Grotto Keep. Your Majesty, I have returned. Selina. You coward. Why did you not execute Dwezel? Forgive me. It was that Valter. Selina. Dwezel has betrayed us. He had bent his knee to a frame. Are you a traitor too? Never. I am your majesty's vassal. I am yours, body and soul. Your majesty, please. Another chance. I beg you. Any order you see fit to issue, I will complete. Selina, I have something for you. If I may, Father? Yes. What is it, Prince Leon? I want you to go to Zahubul Marsh and retrieve something for me. It's a dragonstone, a very special kind of rock. A dragonstone? That's right, it's very rare. There are only two in the entire world. I heard rumors of a collector there who has one for sale. It looks nothing but like a common gemstone. I need it for my research. If I have that stone, my... Uh... Ah, My prince, are you alright? I'm fine. Don't, don't worry about me. Now please, find me the Dragonstone. Will you approve of my request, father? Yes, do as my son asks. Yes, understood. Your majesty, I would like to renew my oath of service to you here today. I pledge that I shall never again falter in my duty to you or to Grotto. I beg your leave, my lord. Is this the first time you've seen the ocean, Murr? Yes. It's so blue, so vast. It is at that. You know, this is my first passage on a ship. I've never appreciated just how enormous the sea is. Really? I'd never guess you hadn't sailed before. You seem so calm. If I'm to lead us, I can't allow any weaknesses to show through. I must appear competent and capable at all times, you understand? A frame. Um. Prince of Frame! Excuse me, Murr. We'll have to continue this later. Uh, alright. What is it, Seth? There's a ship following us, just on the edge of the fog. Should I ready the company for battle? Is it a grotto vessel? It's hard to say. The fog makes it difficult to see clearly. However, her crew seems not to be human. <laughs> Rise and rage, my precious children of darkness. Ruin the wood and ride the sea. Drown your foes and devour their flesh. Come celebrate the glorious rebirth of your lord and master, the Demon King. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound good. So this is actually a type of uh, map that you see quite a bit in Fire Emblem games. Uh, this is definitely in Fire Emblem 7, it's definitely in Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, 
I don't think they actually had any pirate ship maps in Radiant Dawn, though, unless I'm just, like, terribly mistaken. But yeah, there's a lot of Fire Emblem games that have these kinds of maps, and... Normally, they're actually not too bad. This one can be kind of annoying, though, just because there's fog. And let's just be real, fog is never a good thing. So let's go ahead and get ready here. I'm not going to bring Mulder or most of these guys because I was doing a lot of grinding off camera, if you couldn't tell, so that's why. Oh, wow, well, I just realized Natasha doesn't really have any healing weapons or healing devices. I guess it didn't stock up as well as I could have beforehand. To be fair, though, this is also like the first time in like almost a month that I've touched this file because uh, I had to record a bunch before MAGFest and everything, so... I've been really busy, I've been really distracted, so hopefully this doesn't go too badly. Oh yeah, even frickin' Cormag is... <sighs> okay. You know what, I might actually uh, go off camera here and go back and actually get some items because I am not really uh, that well prepared for this, so hold on, guys. Okay, I'm back, sorry about that, guys. Now let's actually get this moving here. Uh, definitely want to have Calm, so we can have some extra vision. Uh, oh yeah, definitely going to have Natasha, our healer. Uh, going to have Cormag. I don't think I'll need these guys. Definitely not Vanessa, definitely not Gilliam. Okay, let's start getting the units I actually plan on using for an extended period of time. That's it. So I'm not going to bring Tana. That seems kind of weird, because I feel like Flyers would be kind of helpful here, but honestly, maybe Cormag will be enough. Cormag should be fine by himself. And I feel like everyone else needs to kind of get some more experience anyway, so... Yeah, I think this is pretty good. So let's go ahead and position our units. I'm gonna kind of put, uh... Colm in front, so we can kind of see what's going on. And I'll just kind of keep you here. Actually, let's do this. Make sure we get everybody in the best position here. Actually, this will work. You here. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. So, let's do this. Let's do the Phantom Ship. So far, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot we can do. <laughs> But hey, this is why we have the Torch Staff. The Torch Staff will definitely come in handy here. To the absolutely see what's going on on the side. Okay, we do have some uh, gargoyles. So we'll have to be careful of those. I'm just going to go ahead and send you over here. Get out the spear. And as for everyone else, we'll just kind of get ready for the next part, whenever that part comes into play. Again, this chapter isn't too bad. The only annoying thing is the fog, and, you know, usually with fog, you have the problem of not knowing what's going to be coming. You know what, I'm actually going to trade this to you. Because those gargoyles do have lances, so that's a good way to protect myself. In case they decide to go for Calm. And let's see what's going to happen. Yeah, look how much damage Cormac can do. My god. He is seriously a beast. Again, since it's going to be a little bit before we get Garrick, I guess Cormac's going to be the Garrick of this story. Oh, wow. Hi, uh... <laughs> Hi, you, uh, mogul! <laughs> Didn't know you were there, apparently. What the hell? Oh, there. There! The enemy is closing! Prepare for battle! Oh, God! Um... <laughs> okay, yeah, I definitely wasn't ready for that. That was definitely something I was not ready for. Uh, do any of you guys have uh, longbows? Doesn't seem like it. 
We should be a little careful, though. I <sighs> just, like, turned over for a second. There's, like, a huge freaking wave of enemies over there. That's... You never like to see that. Okay, so let's go ahead... Put you back up here. I don't think there's anything worth noting. I'm just gonna use you to finish up this guy. Yeah, let's get him done in one shot. Oh, and you get a critical too. Nice job, Nami. That's what I like to see from my archers. That's what I like to see. Uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and heal you though. So now this is totally a situation where I would expect uh, for the next turn, the next enemy turn, they'd immediately put the bridge up and they'd start coming through. I don't know if they actually do that or not though. And even if they did, I think my units are pretty much safe. Cormac could get potentially hit by this guy, but uh, eh. Cormac has a lot of defense, so it's not the scariest thing in the world. And there we go, that's what I was waiting for. They've pulled alongside us, those creatures are trying to board! That's fine, if it'll bring them within reach of my lance. Push them back, board their ship, and seize the blasted thing. Gotta admit, a frame, that's pretty bold. That's pretty bold of you to do that. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna use Cormag to get rid of these jerks. Are there any jerks? I saw the camera pan down here, so I figured there were, like, units that spawned, but maybe maybe not. If so, that was kind of dumb of me to do that. Um, anyway. Just want to make sure there's not any armor slayers before I do this. Nope, doesn't seem like it. Okay. So, Amelia, you're gonna go forward. You're gonna equip the javelin. Amelia should do pretty good against this wave, because she has a lot of speed for, again, a knight. Actually, she really doesn't have that much speed. <laughs> but enough to double most of these guys, and that's kind of what's important. So I'm going to put... Uh, trying to figure out how exactly I want to go about doing this. I think I'm going to put uh, Josh and Ross... Roshua, as we could call them, up here so they can deal with all these other guys. Okay, these guys mostly have swords. Which is kind of annoying, but that's fine. Oh, I didn't give... I didn't give Joshua another sword. Oh, well. I knew I forgot something. And we can actually start using the hatchet to get rid of that a little bit. Uh, hold on. work. With luck, maybe the sword guy will come over, we'll get him stuck there, and then the other sword guy will go to the uh, other unit, so that might work out. We'll just have to wait and see. Let's go ahead and put you over here. I do kind of like chapters like this where you can kind of like put units together and kind of try to fight like through like, like these little uh, choke points and blockades. I always have fun doing maps like this because of that. Okay, you don't have a javelin anymore so let me just put you right here. And I'm gonna see if there's any units that I'm missing here because I feel like there are some more flying units. Yep! Okay, that's what I thought. So yeah, I don't know about the units down here, if there are any units down here or not, but we'll we'll figure it out. I'm not really in any major danger, and I can just use a frame to... I could... Actually, no, I'm going to use Franz for this, actually. Because I'm going to need a frame for something else. So here, I'm going to give you the javelin. And we're just going to have to see how this goes. And yeah, I'll put Colm down there with Niemi so he can just frickin' wreck everything with her. Give her that critical boost that I've enjoyed seeing so much. Okay, 
Okay, there goes the hatchet. Here's where Amelia's uh, kind of low defense is going to be kind of problematic. Because again, like, her defense isn't terrible, but the fact that she's a knight that's actually taking uh, damage is kind of unfortunate. That's just the way it's going to have to go, though. We'll find our way through this horde of enemies. I've also get, been getting some pretty decent level ups, too. That wasn't one. <laughs> that was a pretty bad level up, actually. Oh, well. So, yeah, it looks like Amelia is taking a look. Oh, wow! Look at those crits with the javelin, no less. Good job, Amelia. Please be a good level up. Well, she's getting more speed. <laughs> Not really the stats I want her to increase, though. Okay, there's another crit. Nice. And that was actually a really good crit, too, because otherwise he wouldn't have actually finished that guy off. Oh, shoots. Okay, well, this is gonna just stop the choke point for a bit. That's fine, that's fine. We'll just keep having Amelia doing her thing over here. These guys are doing some pretty good damage to me, though. That's the one thing you got to look out for these choke point chapters. As much as I love them, you also have to kind of remember that, well, if your units can't handle them, then, yeah, they're going to be difficult. But if you have some good units that can handle it, you should be fine. For the most part, I think Amelia is doing okay. She could be doing a little bit better, admittedly, but... She isn't in the single digit HP yet, which is nice. Ouch, okay. So here is where I'm going to put Franz up here so he can take care of these moguls. They could totally attack me, I don't know why they're not. So who should I heal? I think I think Amelia is the one I should be healing right now. I only wish I could actually go up next to her, because now I have to kind of switch things around a little bit. I could heal these guys, though. Yeah, I think I'll do that. You have good resistance, so even if that guy comes down, you're going to be fine. We're getting to the point where Ephraim doesn't won't be able to gain any more levels anymore. Because unlike uh, the majority of my units, like he actually needs a special item to promote. Okay, so I'm gonna move you back here. Just for a tiny bit. I'm gonna move Ross down here. Actually, wait, before I do. We have Javelin, Steel Sword, Steel... Ugh. There are some annoying units down here, but Ross has plenty of HP, and his defense is pretty good, too. So I think, I think Ross could handle this. And I have some of my other units, too, so... I think this is more than doable. Meanwhile, I have no idea where I'm going to take Cormag. I'm kind of just, like, just taking Cormag everywhere. Oh, well. Oh, hi. What's up? I'm going to move you right here. If you had one more strength, you could have actually taken that guy out in one shot, but that's eh, fine. Cormag's just doing, uh, water duty right now. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, I can't believe you couldn't actually double it. Oh, wait, you couldn't because it only had three uses. 
That makes sense. Oh wow, I actually missed. Go, Ross. You break that weapon triangle. You show that the weapon triangle does not define who you are. That's the way a badass plays his Fire Emblem. It's like weapon triangle. What weapon triangle? I'm just trying to slay everybody. That's all I'm trying to do. Oh, and good job. Good job, Joshua, dodging the freaking Steel Lance. He has a lot of speed, though, so I shouldn't be too surprised. He's gonna take a little bit of damage right there, though. Another critical? No. The fact that he does, like, critical hit, like, once out of every 10 attacks is pretty cool. This would be a good place to get a critical, actually. No. Nope. Not quite. Now watch, I'm gonna get that strength point that I needed earlier. No? Okay, I guess Josh is gonna keep working on HP then. Hey, I mean, if he wants to, I guess be my guest, but... Now I might need to use Cormag to kind of come up and uh, try to help out the other guys. Yami is doing pretty solid work though. My god, Niami! S slow it down! Oh my god, critical! Gee, she is the MVP of this chapter, I think, at this point. She is just destroying everything. Getting really bad level ups, though. I'm not really impressed with her level ups right now. I hate to say. What? Another ship? Stay calm, everyone. We take the fight to them. Oh, hello. Friends of justice, allies of righteousness and order. Know that I, La Rochelle, have arrived. Now I shall purge the seas of this vile vessel of villainy. Quahaha! <laughs> nice alliteration, Princess Lower Show. Hmm? I didn't hear Rennick's voice. How very odd. Dazla, where is Rennick run off to this time? Hmm, he was with us at mealtime before we boarded, but... That man can be such a distraction. Oh well, never mind. Let's get started destroying these agents of chaos. Quahaha! <laughs> leave it to me! So yes, this is where both uh, Rena or La Rochelle and Dazla join. Much like in Erica's route, they join when they we're fighting monsters. So, I guess it's kind of cool that they got that right for both stories. Oh man, there's a lot of units up here though. Why aren't these guys attacking me? Am I going to have to send Cormag up here or something? Because they're, like, not moving. And I have no idea why. Maybe they're programmed to move at a certain turn or something. That'd be my guess. Okay, well... Unfortunately, I can't use you yet, Amelia, so I'm going to have to just heal you for right now. You'll have to join in next turn. And I guess we'll work on getting these guys some experience. Let's give this uh, kill to Archer. <clears throat> Gotta distribute the big boys to the units that are a little further behind, I feel like. Because they can be an entire level's worth of experience. Okay, I was starting with some really great level ups, but now I'm getting like screwed big time, it seems like. Which is really, really unfortunate. Uh, who needs this most? Actually, Colm does. Hmm. 
Honeycomb doesn't really need this, though, to be fair. I'd say I give it to Niemi, just because Niemi is kind of a unit I want to keep around, so... Or I guess I could do this as well. Yeah, this works. This way I can kind of see on the other ship if there's any more units coming. I think it's just uh, La Rochelle and Dazzle on that ship though, so we should be fine. And here we just kind of plug up any of the holes we have remaining. Here's a question. I need to get over there to La Rochelle, so I might want to, uh... Hmm. I don't remember if she actually comes forward or not. I know Dazla does, I think. Uh, I'm not really sure now. Eh, uh, might as well. Let me do this. I think if I get rid of some of these guys, I should be fine. Because <clears throat> they don't do, really do a whole lot of damage to me. Really only the Steel Lance people. What do you have? Steel Lance, Iron Lance, Steel Lance, Iron Lance, Iron Bow. Okay. Yeah, as long as I get rid of the Steel Lance guy, it shouldn't be too bad. Let's just do that. Let's get rid of you. Oh shoot, I didn't I couldn't kill you in one shot. Man, that was kind of a uh, I wouldn't say that was a mistake yet cuz she can definitely dodge, but I don't know. We'll we'll have to see, I guess. 